everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name's Kim and today we're going to start a brand new reading vlog so you might as well get used to this angle because I think I'm going to be in this angle quite a bit this week that is because my bathroom is being done this week it gets started tomorrow so hopefully I can do a little bit of a before tour uh, if I remember to do that today uh so yeah because my bathroom's being done, I'm not really going to spend too much time at home. So get used to this angle because I'm going to be in my car a lot. I'm hoping that I can... I, I've got Tuesday off work because it's just my day off work. But I have the dentist, so I don't know how that's going to go. Got a few fillings, so I'm not going to be able to move my mouth very much. So, uh, And then... I'm also off on Thursday because Thursday is my birthday so I don't really want to work on my birthday. I kind of have a few ideas of what I can do. I can do like trips to two local libraries. If I go to the dentist I can go to the one near the dentist and, if, and I need to go to the, the one local to me because I need to return two books. I also maybe want to go to the cinema because sitting in the cinema, there is a toilet. That's the whole reason of me not being at home too much. It's it's the toilet. I don't want to keep interrupting the boys. And obviously for quite a, a selection of time, I'm not going to have a toilet. So to be away from the house and out and about, is going to be the best thing. So going to the cinema, I'm sat down for a couple of hours and I get to watch a movie. It doesn't cost that much. I should be able to get a weekday ticket for about fiver. And there's a toilet in, so I might do that. Kind of want to go book shopping, but I don't know where yet. I might do the little village close to me and do maybe their, their charity shops, potentially. I kind of, on my birthday, want to go to the garden centre and get myself a slice of cake and a coffee and just sit in the garden centre. That all depends on how my dentist goes because if I'm in pain, I'm not going to want to go and eat cake. So it's going to be a week. It's going to be it's going to be trying at times, but we will get through it. It's just one week and then my bathroom's brand new and sparkling and I no longer. I don't want this to sound bad, but no longer a council bathroom. And people who have lived in council all their life, like me, will know what I mean by a council bathroom. So I don't mean that negatively in any way. Council bathrooms are fine, it's just now that we've bought the house, we kind of want to move away from the council aesthetic, if that makes sense. We're kind of trying to, to build it up so that the house is more profitable, should we have to sell it? Anyway, I need to stop rambling on, don't I? Because I need to go and get into work and it's Bank Holiday Monday. I haven't even told you what I'm reading. I'm reading A Little Hatred by Joe Abercrombie. I'm over halfway. I'm hoping to get that finished tonight, if not tonight, then definitely tomorrow before I have to take the book back to the library. We will see. Fingers crossed I can get that done and I can pick up some books for this month's TBR, hopefully, while I'm in the library. But I will let you go because I need to get in the building and go and do plant delivery. On a bank holiday Monday, I've got a plant delivery to do. And hope that today goes Today at work goes pretty quick, hopefully. I might get to see my brother this afternoon. Don't know. But let's get into work. It's been four minutes, five minutes. Jeez, let's get into work. We didn't play dead.
Good morning, folks. It is Tuesday today. It is the 2nd of April, and yesterday I read Diddly Squat. <laughs> I was hoping that I would absolutely smash out and finish A Little Hatred, but I didn't. So, I don't know what it was yesterday. I just, I just didn't want to read yesterday. So, instead, I didn't... What did I do? I went to work. It was heaving yesterday everybody and their mother decided to come into the store yesterday so that was fun <laughs> it was kind of chaotic because because of our new till situation we have two tills where you can put staff on and serve customers the rest of them which is about eight tills a self scan and we said it from the beginning those tills will not cope during a bank holiday weekend and they did not it was carnage yesterday so i did everything yesterday i was forklifting i was moving bulk stock i was on checkouts i was i was just here there and absolutely everywhere so i was exhausted by the end of the day so by the time i got home what did i do i joined g on aurelium sprints last night and I didn't really read anything. I didn't read anything during the sprints. I literally just doom scrolled the whole time. So, yeah, I didn't read yesterday. Today, I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done. Because it is my day off. But today, the boys are starting my bathroom renovation. So, yeah, I'm out and about all day today. I want to be at home to make sure my house is safe but I am promised by the guys at work that the boys are just top-notch blokes and they are everything will be fine everything will be fine so we've left them to it they prefer it that way you know get customers out of the house they don't want people hanging around and I don't want to keep thinking oh god I need the loo Oh God, I need the loo, you know? Because, they, oh my God, literally, the second that they got in the door, one of the guys was talking to us and reassuring us and checking we had all the parts that they needed for the build and you know, talking. We asked them if they would do the floor for us and they said yes, because it makes sense to put the floor down first before they put like the toilet and all the vanity and everything on there first. So they're gonna lay our floor for us, which is brilliant. And so one of them is talking to us. The other one is literally there ripping apart our bathroom as we stood there. He didn't waste any time at all. He got in there and he was ripping shit out. We had to change the bath because mum being mum, she measured wrong. So we ordered the wrong size bath originally. And then the boys noticed that straight away when they came and did the survey that we'd ordered the wrong size so one of them was like go and check the bathroom go and check the bath size just to make sure that they have sent the right one and not the wrong one and the other guys there literally just ripping out the bath panel and then he started ripping out the tiles and oh my god so part of me is happy that i'm not there because it, it's going to be carnage but part of me is like i need to be there Oh my god, I've just literally got a message. Because we've got cameras on in the house, so there's one in our living room and there's one in my bedroom. Because I'm paranoid about safety. So I've got those two active at the moment. We've got our front doorbell. And mum has literally just messaged to say that the radiator's gone. So they've obviously taken the radiator off and it's out the door. So we have no radiator. Which means they didn't need to get to the boiler, which is great boiler has gone uh, the radiator is gone so yeah I'm happy that I'm not there because of all the carnage and the noise and constantly thinking oh my god what's gonna break which is fine because the boys will fix it but I am a little bit on edge thinking is it safe is it safe is it safe so yeah I'm a little bit but so I rambled on for a really long time. So what am I doing today? Well, I was supposed to be going to the dentist, wasn't I? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I decided first off that I would come over to 
my local Asta and look at the books they've got because one of the books that was on my TBR I don't have a physical copy for and the library doesn't have a physical copy well they do have a physical copy but it's out online at the moment and they don't know where it is so it's late back so yeah so I thought oh, I'll come to the local supermarket I'll come to the big supermarket because they've got a lot of books and I'll pick it up here they don't have it so I'm like okay I've got to go to the dentist later so I'll buy myself a a bottle of water because I'm going to be parched and I'll buy myself some lunch because I don't really want to go home disturb the boys have lunch brush my teeth and come out again while I'm literally picking my lunch I get a message from the dentist they're cancelling your appointment okay I mean it makes life easier for me because it means that I can just I can just do what I want today I'm not tied to a specific place which is good but I could do the, mm. I was going to do the library today and take back my books. They don't need to be back till the 9th. But I could do that Thursday. So, as I was in Asda, and they have a McDonald's right there, I did partake. I got a sausage and egg, hash brown, and a coffee. So, yay. So what am I going to do today? Because I'm not tied to the dentist. And hmm, I think that what will kill a few hours? What will kill a few hours? There's a toilet and I could just relax. I might take myself to the cinema. Yeah, I might. Hmm, do I? Hmm. There's two two movies that I really want to see which is Migration because it seems like it's hilarious and funny and the new Ghostbusters movie I think I might go and see the new Ghostbusters movie I think I might go and see the new Ghostbusters yeah so that's what I'm gonna do that's what I'm gonna sit here I'm gonna eat my McMuffin put on an audiobook and then Look at going to the cinema and see what movie I will go and see there. And then after that, I can go book shopping. I can go book shopping because there's a works. Yeah, there's a works, there's a WH Smith's. I can do Poundland. I don't really need to go to Poundland, but I can look around Poundland. It's, oh, I can get some makeup and super drug. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into my local village See if I can get tickets to the cinema. Take myself on a little date. Why not? So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I've been rambling on for over eight minutes now. So let's do that. So I did it. I went to the cinema all by myself. But I'm a big girl pants. I went to the cinema on my own. And I really enjoyed it. Because I went to quite an earlier screening, like half past ten. There was hardly anybody in there. It was so quiet. I did screw up just a little bit with the ticket. I should have got one that was a bit further back in the comfortable seats. But five quid and it wasn't that bad. Yeah. And the movie itself, I did go and see Ghostbusters. And I really enjoyed it. I'm such a fan of Ghostbusters. I don't know whether it's because it's like what I grew up watching, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I loved that the the old gang came in and worked with a new gang again. I probably shouldn't say that because it's a bit of a spoiler. But can you see those greys? See, this new hair this new formulation that this hair dye has is not good. Anyway, yeah, the film. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really enjoyed it. And yeah, it felt a bit weird in the beginning just because I was the first one in there and I was on my own. It kind of felt like as people were coming in, they were sort of maybe like judging me for being there solo. But once the movie started, I didn't really feel like I was on my own. I guess because in the cinema, you don't really normally interact with someone next to you. You know, you might give them a bit of a nudge and say that that bit's funny or you know but yeah I really enjoyed it 
at least now I know that I, if you know, if there is a time when I have a few hours spare and I need to go and just be somewhere, I know that I can go to the cinema on my own. Ooh, Thursday. <laughs> hmm. Do I do it again Thursday? Do I go and see migration on Thursday? I don't know. Thursday is my birthday. I do have plans in my head at the moment. Whether, you know, because of my social anxiety, I'll sort of talk myself out of it, I don't know. But um, at the moment I'm planning to go to the local garden centre and get a slice of cake and a coffee and just sit. Sit and read, sit and do something, I don't know. But just sit and be in a garden centre, eating a slice of cake, yes, by myself again. But it's not that much of a big deal. It was more of a headache when I came out because obviously the world had woken up by then and everybody was out and about and it was really busy and of course the kids are on half term so there was a lot of kids around and yeah I just I don't deal with those situations very well so it was just instead of like spending my time and going around shopping I'm like right I need to go to this shop and get this I need to go to this shop and get this and I need to go to that shop and get that and then I'm, I'm done I'm out and I'm just sat in the car now wondering where to go next and I don't know. Part of me is thinking, do I go to a couple of towns over to the next works? Because I was going to go into the works and buy books. Is it Elsie Silver? The works had four books by Elsie Silver in the same... I think it was Elsie Silver. It was like flawless and something else-less and... I can't remember them, but the works were doing all three, all four of them. So I was going to pick up, and it was like three for six pound, was it or something? So I was going to pick up the whole series and then plus two other books. And literally, as I'm walking in, there's a person walking out with all four fucking books in her hand. I go in, there's only three out of the four. So I'm like, fuck. I don't want to buy three. I want to buy the whole set. And... I don't, I don't know which order they go in, so I couldn't just be like, oh, I'll pick up the first three for the deal, and now I'll pick up the next one later. So that kind of bugged me. <laughs> that bugged me that I couldn't get that. And I can't find Cheat Sheet anywhere. Cheat Sheet is the book that I want to read first for Aurelium. So yeah, I couldn't find Cheat Sheet anywhere, not in any of the bookstores around here. So I don't know whether to go a few towns over to the next works and see whether I can get the books in there. Decided not to go to the next town over and go to the works. Instead, I've gone the other way and I've gone to a place called, what well, well, locals call, Mutant Mile. Because they have a library here and I have a library card. So why not go and have a look around the library? I'm going to walk down one side of Mutant Mile. See if maybe there's any charity shops I want to jump into. Walk up the other side of Mutant Mile and then do the library and then possibly go home. First port of call, Sainsbury's and toilet. Okay, so I have, I've left that car park because it was too busy to fill, there was people everywhere. So I've driven to, oh, it's so weird being this side of the city. I used to live on this side of the city. So I've gone past my old house. I went past my old school. Obviously walking me mile where I used to spend pretty much every lunchtime when I was at college over here. And now I'm in the little supermarket that we used to come to all the time. So it's been a walk down memory line a bit today. But update, walking around, I did about six or seven charity shops along the high street. And it's good, it's, I think there's a good selection, but they didn't have the book that I was looking for. Uh, really what I'm looking for is Either something that just grabs my attention. I'm looking for the Game of Thrones books. I will eventually read Game of Thrones, but I'm not going to do it unless I can find book one stupidly cheap because I don't know whether I'm going to like the series or not. I haven't seen the TV show. I know Shot Cara. I'm probably one of the only people on the planet who hasn't, but yeah. So I did go into one charity shop and it was quite, it was promising. They had back book two and book three, but they did not have book one. So I did not 
I didn't pick up book two and book three. There's no point picking up book two and book three if I can't find book one anywhere. So no one had it. And then we went to the library. Oh, the library. It's not the best library in the city, that's for sure. Their books are all over the place. It's, it's not broken down into sections like my local library properly. And some of the sections are not in alphabetical order, they're just all over the place. So, it wasn't the best library. Plus, there were kids in there playing football. The ball hit me, they didn't say anything, they just walked off. Then I'm literally in the aisle. I'm close up to the bookshelf just looking at the books. And these three women walk past in a line, all linked together, arm in arm, and push me out of the way. Are you serious? It's the freaking library, have some respect. Anyway, I did pick up books. So, the books that I picked up are, my book club is very nearly finished with the Agatha Christie Poirot books. We do have the chunker of the short stories to read this month, and possibly into next month, but we are itching to get onto the next series. And the thing that we, we are gonna dip our toe in is we decided to stick with down the thrillery route so we have decided to start reading and it depends on how the first book goes whether we continue to do this but the Harlan Coburn books so the first one is play dead and they just happen to have play dead so I did pick this up it's not the shortest in the world but I really liked the TV adaptation of a book that I've seen recently of his and it was very up my street you know it was suspenseful and there were twists and turns everywhere and you didn't see things coming so I'm hoping that the books are just as good which is why I suggested it to my book group so we will see how that goes the other thing that I picked up was just on a whim I didn't go in there looking for it it's not even on my radar at the moment to be reading it but I saw it and I'm like okay and she's not a short one either. Ashes of the Sun by Django Wexler. I've seen quite a few of the girlies reading this and yes, it's not a shorty. I just I saw it there and I had to pick it up. So yeah, that's coming home with me too. So that's my little book haul, my little library book haul. Now it is, it's 10 past three. So I've decided that I'm gonna sort of head towards home in that direction and I'm going to head through the city so it might take me a minute to get through the city it is now almost half past four and they're still not done and I, I can't keep walking around and so I stopped off at Lidl I got myself a cinnamon bun and some iced coffee just to keep me going until I can actually go home which hopefully shouldn't be too much longer <laughs> okay, they've, uh, they've gone, they've left all their tools. They haven't fit the radiator, which we thought they had done. They haven't fit the flooring, which we thought they had done. Okay, should we see what they have done? I'm scared, and I really need a wee. Okay, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh my God, the floor's gone. Oh, they put the brackets on the wall for the, okay. Oh, they've tiled, okay, okay. Right, so we've got no bath and no sink. But we do have a toilet, so let me, let me partake. Okay, now that I've relieved myself, let's do a proper walkthrough. Okay, so everything's still okay in here. Uh, don't think they've removed anything or put anything in here, which is good. Here we have the radiator, we have all the tools that they've left behind, which is fine. <laughs> we use those at work, that's good. They have devoured half a packet of biscuits already. I bought them a packet of biscuits to keep them going, so that's done. We go in here and they have fitted the, the brackets for the radiator and I can see why they haven't fitted it yet because they've filled it in behind. So that was good of them. Uh, so yeah, brackets are on the wall. Comes this way a little bit more towards the door than I thought, but okay, it's fine. We have tiling on the wall where the bath will be going. I don't know why the trim sort of stops there, but hopefully they're going to fill that in eventually. 
So yeah, we have no bath, we have a lot of tools. <laughs> There's a nice hole in the floor where the bath stuff goes. So we need to stop the cat coming in here, obviously, because she will end up down the hole for sure. And then we've got a cat in the, in underneath the floorboard, which is not good. But yeah, the tiles are on, the tiles look pretty good. The tiles look pretty good. And it's like they've, they've done what we were worried about and they have matched up the lines in some of the places, not others, but I don't think it's really noticeable that much, hopefully. I mean, now that I can see that this is a big plain part and should have continued, I'm gonna notice that quite a bit, but we won't mention that to mother. Uh, yeah, so they've ripped out the, uh, ripped that out, <laughs> ripped out our, uh, what do you call it, windowsill. Okay, they probably had no choice because the sink was here. I would have thought they would have filled that in as, at the same time as filling that in, but there we go. So, oh, they've taken all the boxing in off of here. So, don't know what they're going to do there. They might rebox it. At least we hope they're going to rebox it. But. Yeah, not too bad so far. We do still have a toilet, which is brilliant. Yes. Okay, so it's, it's not that bad. They have ripped up half the flooring. This is this is the flooring that was down, and of course they've ripped up only half of it, which is weird. But yeah, okay, end of day one. Not too bad, not too shabby. We're on the road. We are on the way to being done. And I cannot wait until this thing is done. But not bad progress for the first day. You know, everything's ripped out. You know, they've, they've ripped out the bath, they've ripped out the sink and they've tiled and they've put the brackets on the wall for the radiator. So yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Let's see what day two holds. Well, another day and another day of building. So the boys, one of the boys got there very, 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 very early this morning, about half past eight. I say very, very, very early. It's not very, very, very early. It's just, it's early when you're on the late shift and you can't, you don't normally leave the house until like 11. So, I am on the late shift today. Um, the first guy came in and he ripped out the toilet without telling me first thing so yeah we we had no toilet so I was like right I've got a couple of things to do in the house and then I'll just I'll go out so a couple of things that I had to do were that I had to reschedule my dentist appointment which was cancelled yesterday still cannot get through to them so that's going to be an ongoing thing try and get hold of them and then the other thing was to uh, cancel my car insurance renewal because it was extortionate it was about 200 pounds more than last year so i'm like dude i have 17 years no claims bonus you know i've been with you for years and this is extortionate i'm not paying it so just cancel me before i did that though i went on and got insurance quotes and my is that, that, is that up there don't know it's gone now anyway um i went online and got insurance quotes and my bank was offering a really great deal. So I'm like, okay, I'll call up my insurance company and see whether they're happy to match it. They did. So I got my car insurance for £230 cheaper than they initially quoted me for exactly the same cover as I'm already on. So folks, definitely check doing online insurance quotes before you ring up and then just make sure the cover is the same because they can say, oh, but you've got this cover and, and you want that cover. So we're going to put it up a little bit more. And But no, I found one that was exactly the same for even less. So I managed to get it cheaper, which was fabulous. It's even cheaper than it was last year. I'm saving money on last year. So that was that. And then I got out of the house probably about half past nine because I really needed a wee. Yeah. 
knowing that there was no toilet in the house i just i had to get out of there <laughs> so yeah i yeah I, I left pretty quickly after that but it looks like the bath is going in today and it looks like the toilet's going in today and they've asked about the grout as well so that hopefully will get done today and on the wall that they tiled yesterday and they asked if we had any spare paint so i'm guessing that they're going to paint behind the radiator where they filled in from the old radiator so we're, we're, on, we're on track we're on track so obviously i don't have to be at work for an hour and a half so what i've decided to do is come down to western shore and just sit and watch the boats the, the sea's a little bit rough today i say the sea western shore is the river the river itchin it's a little bit rough Got red funnel going past every now and again so i'm hoping i can get a good picture with uh what have i brought with me play dead by harlan coben one of the prompts on um the side quest for Aurelium is to take a picture with i think it's sunlight or something bright or something so i thought i'd come down here and take a picture with the sun it's very very very, very overcast today <laughs> So the sun, the sun is up there, it just you can't see it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna eat my peanut butter sandwich. Because I'm on the late shift, I've had breakfast, but I will be so starving by the time it gets to five o'clock. So if I do peanut butter, it's a bit of protein and it's slow burn. So hopefully it will last me till five o'clock when hopefully the boys will be finished and I can go home and see what the progress they've made. So depending on how long I spend here, I may go to uh, a local library over this side on my way back towards work. I put chocolate spread in there as well, so it's chocolate spread and peanut butter. Beautiful. Reading wise, what have I done? Oh, I finished I finished cheat sheet yesterday. I read the cheat sheet in one sitting. And I really, really, really loved it. I loved the relationship between the characters, that they were friends first. The only thing I didn't really like is that it was it was fade to black. You never got to see them get it on. So I missed out on that, but it was a five star, so not bad. And the first book ticked off for Aurelium, which I think was, was it Psionics and Divination? Passed the class already, yes. Right. Well, the boat that I wanted, the little red funnel ship that's coming past, that I want to come past and be in the photo is about to come past, so I will catch you when I have another update. See if I can't take a picture of this book. There's a bit of the road funnel in the background. Give you a bit of a view of Western Shore. So here we have the fast jet going past. Over here we have a car ferry that's going backwards and forwards to the Isle of Wight. A bit rough today, a bit cloudy, a bit overcast. But always a beautiful view. Even more so when there's ships, like cruise ships going past. And the sun is shining, but that's Western Shore for you. It's definitely changed a bit over the years. Could have swore there was more car parks along here, but there's only two. I used to walk along here all the time. I haven't been down here in a few years though. Okay, so I made it to the library. The first time in this library, and this one is so much better than yesterday. Yesterday's was was chaos. You couldn't find anything because nothing was set out where it should be. But here, they have it right. It's set out by genre and then alphabetically. So much better. The only downside of this one is it's a little bit more claustrophobic. But 
that is fine. So I did pick up Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451 and it's actually not that long. So as I've only just started Harlan Coben, I might, I might switch to this. The writing's quite large as well. Ooh. So I print off a receipt so that I can remember like when I got to bring it back. Looks like so did somebody else because I got somebody else's receipt in here. This was last year back on the 7th of February or at least when this person returned it, it was 7th of February. And they only checked out one book. Maybe got one hold request. Oh, it's picked up in Portswood. Okay, so haven't done Portswood Library yet. I was looking at that yesterday and thinking, should I go to Portswood Library? Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday, so I don't know whether I'll go to the library or I'll just go to a bookshop, I don't know. But yes, got Fahrenheit 451. I might jump to that and start reading that instead. Because then if I get it finished, I can return it to the library tomorrow when I take back the other two books that I haven't finished yet. <laughs> Fucking hell. See, this is the problem. This library here, oh my God, there's so much in here that I want to read. Because they've got a fantasy section, it's like, I want to read that. I want to read that. I want to read that. And, oh, I want to read that. And then I'm looking and like, they've got, quite a lot of chunky fantasy as well so the one book that they didn't have though I will eventually get my hand I think I might have to put a, re a reserve on this book Game of Thrones book one they've got every other Game of Thrones book in there except for book one and I know that there's four copies in this county I think three of them are booked out and one of them I think one of them is available but I can't remember where it might be Portswood Library, actually. Right, what I'm going to do now, I am going to go to work and just sit in the car park. I have, I have 33 minutes until my shift starts, so I might as well just go and sit there in the car park so that then at least I know that I'm there on time for my shift and I can sit there and maybe start Fahrenheit 451. I did have massive like expectations for today again that I was going to sit down Western Shore I was going to read a good chunk of my book and I was going to do a load of editing and I was going to do this and I was going to do that and just nothing has happened today <sighs> mainly because trying to get through to the dentist how is it that me changing my car insurance or changing my car insurance renewal is easier than getting through to my dentist Oh my God, that car is shiny. It's Tesla and it's shiny gold. Let me flip it. Can you see that? That is shiny gold. Jesus. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and sit in the work car park and potentially do something, but I'll probably zoom scroll for 15 minutes before my shift starts, but let's do that so I'm not yeah, late for work. Not bad. Oh God, I'm going dirt. Not bad for day two. Hey folks, today is the 4th of April, it is a Thursday and it is my birthday! Happy birthday to me! So, oh, I thought mm, let's go book shopping first off. So I started off in the works, so I did pick up, because I'm seeing these absolutely everywhere and they're three for six pound, I thought I'd pick up the Elsie Silver books. So I have Reckless by Elsie Silver, I have The Elusive, Heartless by Elsie Silver. This is the one that the other works the other day didn't have in stock and it's not a stock in stock on online. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I kind of got to buy them. Then, then we miss out. We miss out Powerless. They didn't have Powerless. I could have spent so much money if they had Powerless, but they do have Flawless. So I do have three out of the four and the lovely lady in, in the bookshop was like, you know, she's got another one coming out. I'm like, yeah. And she's like, oh, I've got it upstairs. 
I'm not allowed to sell it yet, but I've got it upstairs, so I'm reading it and I'm like, bitch. So yeah, I have three out of the four Elsie Silver books. I just need to find one more. Then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go into Waterstones and I'm gonna see whether they have Game of Thrones. They had every single one except for Game of Thrones. I also did all the charity shops around here. No Game of Thrones. I'm starting to think that that book doesn't exist, but I do know that the library has four copies and they're all out at the moment. It's gonna be, what do they call it, a red herring? It's gonna be that book I just cannot find anywhere, isn't it? And probably so is Powerless now, but there we go. So I've got three books today so far and now it's starting to rain, which is a bit of a shit because I wanna go somewhere where I haven't gone for a very, very long time and just walk. I just wanna go for a walk out in nature. I know I didn't get any B-roll of me going around Waterstones, but everybody gets B-roll, so. And I didn't, it wasn't the biggest Waterstones in the world, so I, and pretty much the desk, you can see every part of, of the Waterstones, so I didn't feel comfortable filming. I know, I haven't done filming in public for a very, very, very long time. And like I said, I can do filming in public for a travel vlog like that. Doing it for a book vlog, it's, it's, it's daunting. And I know everybody does it, so they're used to it, but anyway, what time are we now? Let's have a look. Ooh, let's have a little looky look at what the time is. Oh, hello, someone at my front door. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I can't look at the time and hey, let's just turn on the car. It is, oh, okay, so it's now 20 past 10. So because it's my birthday, I'm meeting up with mum for lunch at about no later than half 12. So I think that I might, there's two walks that I want to do, McDonald's just, there's two walks that I want to do today. I kind of want to go around the village where I was born and go around to the memorial park there. But I don't know how long that's going to take. I might see some ducks and then I'll get sidetracked. But then I want to go to the old common where my grandparents lived. And there might be horses and donkeys there. I think I'm going to go to Canada. I'm going to go, going to go to the common where my grandparents live because it's a shorter walk and then if I run out of time I can go and see mum and then if I've got time left I can go around and do the little town where I grew up where I was born I don't think there's a works there which is, which is just terrible but yeah that's what I'm going to do I need to go now because I've already paid for my parking so I need to get out the car park within 10 minutes and I've already been here for five so let's let's mosey on to the next destination and I don't know if you can see behind me but there are horses no you can't see because there's bush in the way but they are just there That's a turn and a half, that one. <laughs> oh, these horses eat well, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm gonna go explore for a little bit, I think, and just walk around here. There's a few dog walkers around, so me filming is a bit odd. I think maybe I should stick to the trail though, because it is very mushy today. And very hot to watch.
do love a good ramble. Feels like so long since I've got out in nature and just walked. I'm heading back to the car now though. Been out for about 40 minutes. Uh, it's just the further I go the more boggy it's getting and my footwear really isn't the best for this. I should have put some wellies or something on. Maybe thought about it before. where I park my car and whatnot but it's all part of being in nature in it you get lost for a little bit and then you find your way back that's what you do so yeah it's also getting darker and colder so I think it's gonna rain at any minute so I really need to get back to the car before it does that and there's another dog walker coming so I need to stop okay so this is what I should have done from the off look we'll see hey little baby Oh. <laughs> oh, just chilling. Don't know whether that was a good idea or not. Excuse the mess in my car here this winter. My shoes are filthy, my feet are wet. But it felt good to be out in nature and now I've got all the heaters on, all the blowers on to help hopefully dry me out before I go and have lunch with mum and I'm I'm covered in a bit of dirt. Yeah, I'm covered in a bit of dirt. I hope that's just dirt. I wonder, can I go home real quick and get changed? Part of me is thinking go home and get changed real quick and then part of me is thinking you're going to be walking around a park after lunch potentially so yeah let me start heading towards mum and see what time it is oh dear why did i do it i should have put i should have put now thinking about it now i have wellies in my boot i could have done that why does my eye i think it might be in the light my eye looks bloodshot there is it bloodshot no it's the reflection of the car next to me. <sighs> it felt good to blow off the cobwebs and walk, but I should have put the wellies in my boots on. Anyway, hoping that I dry out. Not only my feet wet, but my butt is wet as well because I sat down somewhere that I shouldn't have. So, hoping that I dry out before going to lunch with mum. Oh, at least I'm not like that donut has come out in white trainers. It's far too deep for me to walk through. Hold on. Literally just got my feet dry. That's flowing pretty fast. It's quite high. Higher than it normally is. And then we got the war, war reel and the war horse. today. 
it's a memorial park in Romsey, which is where I was born, where I grew up. And it might have been because I was just, I was little, but this place does just not seem as big as it used to be. And I must be thinking about somewhere else because I could swear there was like a salmon jump or something here. But no. So I did a lap, I got all the way to the end massive puddle so now I've got to turn around and call my back again so at least I'll get my steps up and I'm out in nature and see them behind me donkeys the river is very very high and very fast flowing I do not remember it being that high and that fast flowing so plus the car park that we used to park in when I was a kid is not free anymore. So I drove into the car park, got myself a ticket. Sorry, there were some random people behind me. Got myself a ticket. I think there's more people coming. But the exit barrier is up, so I don't know whether I have to pay or not. There's no pay machines around either. It's just for like Waitrose customers. So I don't know. I don't know whether I have to pay or not. Or whether I just drive out and hope for the best that I don't get a parking ticket. But we'll stop here and watch the river for a minute, I think. kid I remember this bank just being lined with ducks and swans and now there's one lonesome little duck. Should we go and see the abbey where I was christened? Let's go and see the abbey. There you go, the backside of the abbey where I was christened all those, oh, all those years ago. the abbey and it's really starting to come down and rain now so oh do I head back or do I I don't know and the front side of the abbey thought for a second there I got myself lost but then I saw the old fire station so I know I'm going the right way <sighs> it's all up there somewhere a little bit windswept it's a bit windy out there and it's Already starting to rain again, so yeah, we had a walk around Memorial Park, had a look at the Abbey, and now I think I'm gonna risk it. The exit barrier is still up, and I can't see any like number plate recognition or any cameras on the exit, so I'm I'm hoping there's free parking today. But why give us a ticket? Hmm. If I get a parking ticket, I get a parking ticket, don't I? Uh, so now, mum mm. treated me to KFC at lunch. It was either KFC or McDonald's because it's over the road from where she works, and she only got an hour, so we couldn't really go anywhere else. But we'll have another takeaway at the weekend. So yeah, I've got got myself a lemonade. And then she got a tango, which she only had one sip out of and has given to me. And I'm like, I'm driving around trying to find toilets all the time because I can't go home. 
And now you're going to fill me with drink? Okay. It's free. So, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. For some reason, I thought that the park was a lot bigger than it is. And it would take me quite a while. And for, I had in my head there was a salmon jump there, but there's not. How about... As we're taking a walk down memory lane today, you know, it's my birthday. Let's take a walk down memory lane of my life. Should we go around and look at the house that my mum and dad had when I was born? Now, my dad still owns it. And I know that he hasn't kept up with it. It looks like, it looks like a piece of shit, really. So, I know it's not too far away. Should we go and have a look at it? Go and have a look at it. I think, yeah, let's do that. Let's go and have a look at the old house. I need to get directions. Susie's at nap time. The one with the pink. So it, it has gone to rack and ruin. Definitely needs a facelift. Needs some new windows for sure. Yeah, that's the house I grew up in. I remember going up here when I was a kid and being in trouble because I went up there without permission and stayed up there with my friends. Wow, I look even more windswept. So I popped into to a library on the way home, mainly because I wanted to pick up a book and I was passing, so this place had it. So the book that I picked up this time was 4,000 Weeks. This has been recommended to me by a very dear friend who shall remain nameless but he uh, he definitely recommended this one to me and so I thought I'd give it a go it's not that long it's about time management so hopefully it's a good one he says it's really really good so and then I this is the library that I said wasn't very organized the other day and it's not so the sci-fi section is actually in the kids section. Okay. <laughs> so that's why I didn't see the sci-fi section last time. They still don't have Game of Thrones. But they also had a manga and graphic novel section. So I kind of partook. I have already read it. Heartstopper Volume 1. And then I kind of stopped. But I got Heartstopper Volume 2. And I might also have Heartstopper Volume 3. <laughs> so they won't take too long to get through, hopefully. But they're just a little bit of a light read when I need a light read. So I have read number one, like I said, but I haven't read the rest of the series. So I kind of got to go to my local, my local library on the way home to give back some books. So I might see if they've got Heartstopper Volume 4 while I'm there. Me becoming a member of the library is not a good idea. So currently I have, does it say on there how many I've got out? It does. Currently I have nine books checked out and one on hold. Yeah, I can't be stopped. This is not a good thing that we do, but yeah. If it means I'm reading more, then that's a good thing, right? Right? Anyway, I don't know what the time is now. Let's start the car and it'll tell me. It is, oh, it's, it's 10 to four. That's not bad. So by the time I get across the city and to my library, have a mooch around there for a bit. Hopefully it'd be quite close to going home time. So, let's see what I can find in my local library. Okay, so I just did my local library and getting deja vu I've got a red eye and there's a red car next to me again deja vu <laughs> plus deja vu because I've been here a couple of times this week already uh, I did return two books but I did cave and pick up another one I came and pick up another one even though I have not finished Empire of Storms yet and I'm a long way from finishing Empire of Storms I did see Tower of Dawn so I kind of had to pick it up and it's a really good copy too so yeah, I picked up Tower of Dawn. So, with the 
the three books that I've got at home from the library, the four books that I picked up in one, the one book that I've just picked up here, plus the three books that I bought this morning. I've got a lot of reading ahead of me. Now all I've got to do is sit down and actually read and sit down and actually edit these vlogs and sit down and actually write reviews and I need to get my shit in order. Anyway, I have to find out whether the boys are finished in my house so I can go home or I need to go and find somewhere else to go for an hour. Yep. Okay. Everything's gone. They're just leaving. It's finished. Nice new radiator. Nice new mirror. Bath panel. Oh, look at that. Probably change the shower head. I put the blind back up. That's all nice and neat. Vanity. Toilet. And they've got all the way around the wall. everything properly. Well done boys. Yeah, it's got paint. Well done. I'm gonna do a second coat. Mm. Probably need another coat. Yeah, okay. I'm happy. Well done boys. It's Saturday morning and I've just had my first bath in the new bath. Oh so good, so good, so good. Quick reading update, I am quite a fair way into Harlan Coben's Play Dead and I'm really enjoying it, it's really twisty and you don't see where everything's going. Oh, that's what I liked about Harlan Coben. So yeah, I'm hoping to get that finished today because it's so good. Today we're just going to be out and about getting some things for the new bathroom. We have to take some things back because they didn't use all the tiles which is great. Get some money back. And yeah, I'm just gonna have a shopping day today and a chill day, and then a takeaway tonight. This morning I cooked panna chocolate for breakfast, so that was a bit of a treat. Now I just need to dry my bonnet, and then we're probably gonna mow the lawn and do the housework, go shopping this afternoon, take away this evening, and just chill. Okay, didn't see that twist coming. Uh, not far to go now, only a couple of hours left of the audio, so it shouldn't take me too long to finish it. I should be able to get it finished today, but I'm loving it. Uh, I don't know whether I'm biased because it's partially set in Australia and I have family in Australia. I don't know whether I'm partly biased because it's set partly in Boston and I'm a Boston girly. They, uh, Boston Celtics feature quite heavily because one of the players plays because the, the main character plays for the Boston Celtics. Um, but they've just mentioned my hockey team, the Boston Bruins. So mm, I might be a bit biased, but I'm definitely loving the mystery in this and I can't wait to find out in those last few pages what has happened to David and all the little tidbits that we've been getting throughout hopefully are going to be tied up in these last few pages. Definitely worth a read. I can't wait to read more from this author. We're almost there. So let's keep going. Right now I need to go and mow the lawn. I've already done the housework so that's all done. Just need to go and mow the lawn and then I can have some dinner. Oh, the bacon needs to be used up. I might have a bacon sandwich. Oh, we have let. Oh, I might have a BLT for lunch. We do have lettuce and tomato. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go mow the lawn, and then have some lunch, and then it's gonna be. I've got to do a tip run to get rid of some stuff that was in the bathroom. And we've got to go shopping and pick up some like little baskets to go in the new vanity unit. We've got to go. To. I've got to go to my work and return some stuff that the boys didn't use and just a bit of retail therapy and then we're going to come home and we're going to have a takeaway probably a Chinese tonight but hopefully I can get this book finished in the next couple of hours before we go shopping and then when I get home oh I don't 
don't know. I don't know whether to to pick up the next book on my TBR, pick up the self-help book that my friend recommended me, or whether to pick up Ashes and Sun that I picked up from the library the other day. It just caught my eye. I don't know whether to read the Heartstopper books. I don't know whether to read... I've got a real urge to read A Discovery of Witches. I don't know why. I did see it in the library the other day and I didn't pick it up. I'm kind of wishing that I did. I really want to read Discovery of Witches, but that's not on my TBR. Then neither is Ashes of the Sun, so I need to stop rambling. I'm running out of space on my phone because I've got so much editing to do, so I need to stop updating, go and do some work in the garden, have my lunch, finish the book, maybe do some editing. I need to get the editing. What I really want to do, not this week coming, but the week after, I'm on holiday from work. Apart from painting the bathroom and finishing that off completely, it's not real. And we're going to go down to, we're going to go up the coast for the day and just hang out in Weymouth. So apart from that, I haven't got that much to do. So what I really want to do is catch up with all my reviews, catch up with all my videos, catch up all my spreadsheets, just catch up with everything and stop procrastinating and being behind and everything. But I'm procrastinating now, so I need to go and mow the lawn. So we're home and I know they're getting dementia and they're getting really forgetful in their old age, but it kind of hurt when my grandparents forgot that it was my birthday. I mean, not that my brother's been up or anything, but I kind of expect it from my brother. You know, he's got five kids, so he's gonna forget. He didn't forget, though. He did send me a message. I haven't received like a card or a gift from him at all. Whereas he gets really upset if I forget him. So, I just, with my grandparents, I just, I, I don't know. Kind of upset me. Anyway, back to reading. I did start The Dirt Confession, uh, The Dirt, Confessions of World's Most Notorious Rock Band, which is about Motley Crue. And I kind of like Motley Crue. They're not like my top go-to band, but I, I don't mind listening to Motley Crue. And I absolutely love Nicky Six. I love like his photography and his art. So just, I love Nicky Six. So I thought I'd read this. And at the moment, I'm not really enjoying it, unfortunately. At the moment, we're just learning about the backstory of how the boys came together. But basically it's just sex, drugs and rock and roll. On repeat so I'm not really loving it at the moment see how it goes as we're getting into the story more but yeah so tonight I don't know what to do tonight I might I might just sit here I've got a washer and have a shower but apart from that I might just sit here we're currently watching Titanic we did only watch Titanic last week but we're watching it again now that's white star I like property. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> seriously, I know the whole of the script from beginning to end. I've seen this movie so many times. Anyway, so yeah, tonight I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna sit here and watch Titanic. I might watch a bit of BookTube. I doubt I'll get much reading done. I'm kind of feeling a bit demotivated to pick that book up, so I don't know. We'll see how tonight goes, but I doubt I'll pick up a book. You can't keep us locked in here like animals, the ship's bloody sinking! <laughs> oh, right, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it a night, I'm gonna go and watch Titanic. I still have Easter egg chocolate, so I think I'm gonna sit here and just gorge on chocolate, watch Titanic for the millionth time, and then when this is finished, go and have a shower, wash my barnet, and get in my get in my PJs and just veg. 
Good morning, folks. It is Monday today. It means we're doing the wrap up, doesn't it? I'm just getting ready for work. Um, so yeah, let's do a little bit of a wrap up for the week. I had a pretty good reading week, I think. I think. Uh, so first off, I read uh, Cheat Sheet, which loved, loved the characters, loved that it was football meets ballet. And so yeah, I really enjoyed that one. And so I gave that five stars. Cannot wait to pick up more from this author. Then I jumped on to Fahrenheit 451. Again, loved it. Loved how it was books related and how this person hated, not hated books, how this person's job was to burn books. And then he found, found the joy in books and flipped the tables and really loved books. So that was really, really good four stars for that one and then I ended up the last read of the week was Play Dead by Harlan Coben and again loved this one loved the twists the turns you just suspected everybody you didn't see stuff coming the characters were really likeable I loved that it was set in Australia and Boston and yeah I really enjoyed this one I gotta take it back to the library as well uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. This got five stars and I cannot wait to continue reading Harlan Coben books. So that is my week. That is my week. I had two five stars and a four star this week. Is next week going to be just as good? Mm, I don't know. It's not looking too good so far. But that's a next week problem. So I might as well end this one here. As always, down in my description box, you can find a link to all of my socials. Come give me a follow on Goodreads on Instagram and on X. You can like this video, you can comment, and you can subscribe if you want to. Want to let me know you're here without actually talking to me? Leave me. Leave me the wave emoji. And I'll see you next time. Doodles.